Welcome to Skill Header. This video demonstrates the simple way to share your files and folders across locally connected devices like computers and laptops with Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi and how to build network drive and assign permissions. If you are interested in knowing how to give permissions to multiple users in a shared computer like a family computer, please click on the i button above in the corner or click on the link in the description. Let's get started on how to share folders across devices. This will be our main computer whose name is Skill Header PC2. I am going to create a new folder. In the first step, you can share this folder by simply selecting everyone from the drop-down list and giving permission to read and write. Here will be our network sharing path of the folder. This is our target computer screen, the second PC. First of all, I am checking the shared folder access by entering the shared link. Admin credentials must be filled in here to access the computer. Moving on to the main computer screen to see the admin username which is Skill Admin. We must click on Remember My Credentials here. OK, our shared folders are accessible now. There is another method to store the credentials of other computers from the control panel under Credentials Manager. As you can see, under the Windows credentials, our main computer has already been added because we saved the credentials a while ago. Now, let's create a network drive by clicking Map Network Drive. Here is our shared folder to convert it into a drive. Let's click on Finish. As you can see, we have got a new drive here. You can change the drive letter from Z or even rename the drive. We have stored nothing on the drive so far. Moving on to the main computer to save some files along with an Excel file. All files are available in the shared drive. I am going to create a Word file from the user's computer. The Word is also available in the shared folder. Due to full control, I can delete or edit files from the drive. Let's see how to apply permissions to the drive. Click on Advanced Sharing and then Permissions. I am removing all other accounts from the list to have only an admin account here. You can add any other local account in case multiple permission levels are to be decided. We are fine with the read-only permission.
So, the user will now be unable to delete or edit any document due to read-only permission. You can create more than one drive and assign read or write permissions simultaneously. If you like the skill header videos please comment, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to update about upcoming videos, and like and share the video. See you in the next video.